okay the question is that what is the directivity of antenna yes why bhav patal anyone else can answer, give me answer komal kolpe the ratio of yes ratio ratio of radiation intensity and radiation intensity of isotropic source okay then what is the radiation intensity yes komal what is the radiation intensity and what is the isotropic radiation intensity what is the exact difference between radiation intensity and isotropic radiation intensity yes average radi uh, radiation radiated intensity is equal to the total power of radiation okay so now we are move toward the next point uh, that is antenna efficiency before going to the antenna efficiency we must be know that what is the efficiency anyone can say what is the efficiency yes no one can okay can you see my presentation on screen yes sir yes yes sir so after complete the directivity point uh, we had uh, move toward the antenna efficiency uh, when we are uh, discuss uh, directivity at that time there was uh, directivity is the ratio of antenna that is uh, what is radiation intensity and uh, uh, radiation intensity to the isotropic radiation in intensity now after that there is a point antenna efficiency now what is the antenna efficiency you know that antenna antenna is the uh, metallic rod which can be uh, used to uh, transmit or receive electromagnetic signal now what is the efficiency you have some potential you have some efficiency is that clear now antenna has also some efficiency antenna has some capacity to do work okay antenna has some capacity to cover the area by spreading or by transmitting or by receiving its signal now antenna efficiency it is efficiency that is it is associated with an antenna that are a number of efficiencies that means a single antenna has different types of efficiencies then what are the different types it can be discussed in this lecture also now antenna has number of efficiencies and it can be Uh, see in that particular figure in which uh, specially there are three different efficiencies are present in which one efficiency is radiation efficiency that means how many how with how many amount of signal is radiated from antenna to the free space that means or which can be vice versa antenna can be receive signal that means antenna efficiency now both efficiencies are different transmitting efficiency is different and receiving efficiency is different in which especially the total antenna efficiency can be derived or can be calculated by using e0 this is your total antenna efficiency now total antenna efficiency is the combination of different efficiencies that means there are number of efficiencies are present for example 
first one is radiation efficiency that is it is called as radiating efficiency antenna radiation efficiency then reflection efficiency conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency that means in antenna rods that means your antenna rod is a metal rod in that particular metals some of the energy is consumed some of the radiations are consumed that means these are considered as conduction losses or dielectric losses now what is the dielectric you know that what is the dielectric constant dielectric means so as what is dielectric yes what is the dielectric electrical insulator insulator huh. okay now your efficiency is also known as losses that means when we calculate the efficiency at that time we must be consider all type of losses okay we must be considered all type of losses and this that losses may be from input terminal to the output terminal that means it takes in uh, into account losses at the input terminal and within the structure of antenna that means in total area or total antenna structure which are occupied by that particular metal rods which may be considered as a efficiency that means losses in the structure of the antenna from the input terminal is called as your efficiency now this structure has again different types that is input terminal output terminal then dipole medium so it includes also metallic rods dielectric medium so each and every losses are takes in account to the calculation of antenna efficiency now this is in this diagram this is your antenna which can be uh, referred to to calculation for the antenna efficiency in which uh, this is your input terminal and your input terminal is known as input terminal is known as gain reference point is that clear your input terminal of the antennas now here is the input terminal before input terminal this is your transmission line now this is your antenna input terminal now this antenna input terminal is known as gain reference point it can be considered as gain reference and the end of that particular antenna that is your output terminal is known as directivity reference because your directivity can be calculate after that when directivity is calculated at that time we had considered what is radiation intensity sorry radiation efficiency or intensity and what should be considered for the calculation of the directivity it should be radiation intensity or it should be radiation efficiency what is that radiation intensity not efficiency efficiency Inten radiation, radiation okay. this is a complicated part you should be keep it in your mind that is u u divided by u0 is your directivity now this antenna will be radiate some energy in a free space now now this is your beam width of that particular antenna
Okay. This is your one. One minute. Now, when directivity is calculated at that time, your directivity can calculate calculated by u divided by u zero. U zero is total isotropic intensity. Okay. Now, total isotropic intensity means this antenna will be radiate energy in front of that particular antenna in that particular two yellow lines. Okay. Or in suppose this may be like that. Or this may be your radiation intensity in front of antenna, but this antenna is radiating some energy in all directions. Now, this energy divided by this total energy that is isotropic intensity or sorry, uh, radiation intensity divided by isotropic intensity. Now, this intensity is your radiation intensity which is in front of your antenna but now we are calculating antenna efficiency when directivity is calculated radiation intensity divided by isotropic radiation in intensity is considered but in directivity we are considered every loss every loss in the antenna that means Antenna radiates some energy. Antenna reflects some energy. Antenna conduct or it consumes some energy by that particular metal rods or dielectric losses. Now, now we can see that in this figure that is there is IC, there is ID, there is again IC and IC. Now these are the dielectric losses that is current that is flowing through that particular dielectric medium current flowing through that particular conduction medium and overall efficiency which gathered at the antenna is known as your total antenna efficiency now when we calculate the total antenna efficiency in uh, diagram b that is uh, diagram b this is your B in which we have reflections because of the mismatch between transmission line and antenna. Now, again, this is your antenna and transmission line point where antenna and transmitter line are connected to each other. Now, when Antenna and transmission line are connected to each other at that time. Characteristic impedance or impedance matching of that particular antenna and transmission line is most important part. When transmission line is connected to the antenna at that time, output impedance that is output impedance of that particular transmission line should be matched with the input impedance of that particular antenna understand swas yes, got this point when yes, we connect the transmission line to the antenna at that time impedance of that particular transmission line should be matched with the impedance of that particular antenna if there is some mismatch if there is no proper matching of the impedance at the connection point of the transmission line antenna at that time there is some reflections and these reflections are due to the mismatch of the transmission line and antenna and there is first loss this is already this is known as reflection losses got it first loss that is reflection loss reflection loss is due to the mismatch of the transmission line and the antenna is that clear yes yes no doubt then 
after that conduction losses and dielectric dielectric losses now your antenna is manufactured by using metallic rod and two metallic rods are separated by using free space now free space has always some directivity is that clear we are also calculated uh, dielectric constant that is epsilon 0 is that clear which is equal to something 8.854 uh, into 10 raise to something meter per second i asa kai tari bagitle kuta hmm hello ha sir yes so this is your reflection that is reflection loss due to the mismatch of the transmission line and antenna now second one is the conduction loss and dielectric loss now and uh, conduction loss and dielectric loss is commonly called as i square r loss what is i square r losses that is conduction and dielectric losses is called as the i square r losses that is i square r is equal to as the हम्म माहिती का तुम्हाला आय स्क्वेअर आर इज इक्वल टू काय असत आणि केत व्हॉट इज द पॉवर इन फॉर्म्युला व्हॉट इज द पॉवर इक्वेशन हम्म कोमल कोळपे You should be noted that the microwave power is equal to V by uh, basic electronics. These are the some silly questions like that. Uh, it can be give uh, answer by the first year or eleventh uh, standard students. What is the I square R? What is the I? Yes, I is current. I is resistance. power should be product of current and voltage then what is the voltage is sagla mahit pai chere balana tumhala asa nahi chalnar mi ms second year student hai tumhala sagla mahit pai chhe okay after that these are the two different losses one is the reflection loss which is present at the antenna terminal that is antenna initial terminal in which it is present due to the mismatch between transmission line and antenna and second one is the conduction and dielectric losses now it can be referred for the calculation of overall antenna efficiency now now your overall antenna efficiency can be calculated or can be written by using e0 is equal to er into ec into ed now total antenna efficiency is the product of reflection efficiency conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency of that antenna now e0 is your total efficiency which has or which have no dimension it means it is dimensionless then another one law antenna efficiency is reflection efficiency it is also called as mismatch efficiency it is also called as mismatch efficiency and it can be calculated by using 1 minus sigma square this is sigma square sigma ka ha to hai na sir ka hai te to 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 ओके सो वन मैनस टो स्क्वेर इज दट क्लियर एंड ऑल्सो इट इज डायमेंशन लेस नाउ दिस इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट पॉइंट सी केयरफुली दट इज रिफ्लेक्शन एफिशियंसी कैन बी कैलक्युलेटेड बाय यूजिंग वन मैनस टो स्क्वेर नाउ वॉट इज टू इट कैन बी कैलक्युलेटेड एट द टाइम ऑफ स्टैंडिंग वेव रेशो स्टैंडिंग वेव रेशो जर महित महित तुम्हारा लक्षा दिया लक्ष देते जर स्टैंडिंग वेव रेशो नहीं महित तो नहीं महित हो लक्षा तुम्हें पहले रिविजन के लिए पाजे स्टैंडिंग वेव रेशो का टो का सीग्मा का ओके नाउ थर्ड वन इज 
EC that is conduction efficiency. It is also dimensionless. And last one is the dielectric efficiency. It is also dimensionless. Now, what is your tool? It is voltage reflection coefficient. What is that? It is voltage reflection coefficient and which is present at the input terminal of the antenna which is present at the input terminal of the antenna and it can be derived by using equation or it can be derived by using input impedance of the antenna and characteristic impedance of the antenna or characteristic impedance of the transmission line sorry and not for the antenna it should be calculated for the transmission line because it is present along to the transmission line you can see here it is present in between the two different two transmission line that is coaxial transmission lines after that it can be see it should be calculated by using input impedance minus characteristic impedance divided by input impedance plus characteristic impedance. Is that clear? Input impedance minus characteristic impedance divided by input impedance plus characteristic impedance. And by using this ratio, we can calculate your what is this? Tau. And it is called as the voltage reflection coefficient. It is called as voltage reflection coefficient. That means when input impedance and characteristic impedance of the transmission line doesn't match with the impedance of that particular antenna at that time, there is some reflections are present. And now, when the reflections are present at that time, that reflections may be calculated by using this ratio of the input impedance minus characteristic impedance divided by input impedance plus characteristic impedance, where your Zn is antenna input impedance and your Z0 is characteristic impedance of the transmission line. Baga antenna cha input impedance madhun. Transmission lines are characteristic impedance kai karai chai? minus karai chai pahil yanda. Tell us divide kashan karai chai total impedance ni. Total impedance manja kai when antenna and transmission line are connected together at that time there is two different impedance are present. One impedance is for antenna, another impedance is for the transmission line. And, and in the transmission line there is a characteristic impedance of the transmission line is considered and in the antenna there is input impedance is considered and by using this impedance we can calculate the voltage reflection coefficient okay and by using voltage reflection coefficient that is when voltage reflection coefficient square may be subtract from the one at that time, we can calculate the reflection efficiency that is ER, that is ER is equal to 1 minus voltage reflection coefficient square. And this voltage reflection coefficient may be calculated by using antenna input impedance and characteristic impedance of the transmission line. We have considered a two different efficient, two different impedances. One impedance from the antenna, another impedance from the transmission line. Is that clear? After that, we had calculated the voltage reflection coefficient. Is that clear? Voltage reflection coefficient. Now, by using voltage reflection coefficient, we can calculate the voltage standing wave ratio. Is that clear? Baga, we are going to step by step. At the initial condition, we had defined equation for the overall efficiency of the antenna. Now, overall efficiency of the antenna is the product of the reflection efficiency, conduction efficiency, and 
dielectric efficiency now reflection efficiency is calculated by using the characteristic impedance of the transmission line and the input impedance of the antenna again it, it is clear after that the ratio of that particular input impedance minus transmission uh, impedance that is characteristic impedance divided by input impedance of antenna plus characteristic impedance of the transmission line it is called as the voltage reflection coefficient now when voltage reflection coefficient is calculated at that time by using voltage reflection coefficient we can calculate the voltage standing wave ratio now voltage standing wave ratio may be calculated by using 1 plus voltage reflection coefficient divided by 1 minus voltage reflection coefficient and this can be used to calculate the voltage standing wave ratio is there any doubt about uh, voltage standing wave, wave ratio or uh, voltage reflection coefficient or uh, total antenna efficiency is there any doubt yes no sir you are free to ask questions when you are asking question at that time uh, i'm considering uh, your concentration is on uh, your lecture but uh, you when you doesn't ask some question at that time I doesn't satisfy. So listen carefully. Your antenna efficiency, that means there are three different efficiencies are present. First one efficiency is reflection efficiency, then uh, conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency. Now your conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency calculation that is separate calculation for the conduction and dielectric is very difficult but when we theoretically define the dielectric efficiency conduction efficiency it can be easy to understand what is the conduction and what is the dielectric efficiency but when we go to the library and calculate or derive the antenna efficiency that is the conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency by using a different experimental process at that time it is so difficult to calculate separately that is conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency so instead of calculation separately that is uh, we can uh, use more convenient equation that is we can combine these two efficiencies that is conduction and dielectric efficiencies of antenna and finally when we uh, go to the laboratory and we uh, follow some experimental process at that time we can combine the calculate the your uh, conduction and dielectric efficiency that is your ac instead of calculation that is instead of separate calculation now we can rewrite first equation that is E0 is equal to ER into EC into ED. It can be rewrite by using ER into ECD. Now you know that what is the ER? ER is the 1 minus voltage reflection coefficient square. Okay. Now this antenna efficiency equation can be rewrite by using ECD into 1 minus and voltage reflection coefficient square and this is your final equation of the antenna efficiency where ECD is the combination of EC and ED that is antenna conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency that means ECD is known as the antenna radiation efficiency now. Magashimi Suratila Matnotic radiation efficiency, dielectric, then conduction, then reflection. Now, instead of computing conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency, we can simply it call it that is antenna radiation efficiency. Now, only two efficiencies are remaining 
that is antenna radiation efficiency and antenna reflection efficiency now antenna efficiency is the product of antenna radiation efficiency and antenna reflection efficiency which is used to calculate and which is related to the gain and directivity now this is most important part when we uh, go to the gain of the antenna there are number of different points are present at that time uh, these uh, efficiencies are most important part so if you have any doubt then you can ask yes is there any doubt uh, related to the antenna efficiency am i audible to everyone yes sir then why you are not responding to me you are the electronics student you are the talented genius and something words are used by our hods our faculties and you cannot give me answers so uh, this is uh, who is the anuja chawan अजिबा बोलू ना सगन बॉस हो बनुजा चवान फक्त नऊ जण हाईट आहे हाईट लेक्चर बुडवण्याची सगळ्यांना एक मेसेज पोचवा लेक्चर बुडवले तर अवघड होईल तुमच्यासाठी नंतर कोणीही तुमची की उदय करणार नाही लक्षात घ्या लेक्चर इज मस्ट तर काही क्वेश्चन आहेत का कोणाला सर ते इची अगेन आपण व्होल्टेज स्टँडिंग वेव्ह रेशोचं इक्वेशन काढलं मग परत मग हे इक्वेशन इ झिरोचं कसं काढलं डायरेक्टली डायरेक्टली नाही काढलं आपण बघा सी केअरफुली रिझर्व प्रेझेंटेशन इज अवेलेबल प्रेझेंटेशन दिसते हो यस यस हो सर बघा दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट इक्वेशन Uh, my uh, i will highlight this equation by using laser pointer now this is a first equation that is total antenna efficiency is that clear total antenna efficiency is the product of uh, reflection efficiency and conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency is that clear dikshit yes sir yes sir okay yes now reflection efficiency is present at the begin of beginning of the antenna where antenna and transmission line are connected to each other at that time there is some voltage reflection are present and at that point voltage reflection coefficient is calculated by using antenna impedance and characteristic impedance of the transmission line is that clear again yes yes now this is one part of the total efficiency that is reflection efficiency now conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency i am saying that conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency calculation in laboratory by using different experiments it is very difficult understand again yes sir that is conduction and dielectric efficiency calculate calculation is very difficult 
so it cannot be calculated separately it cannot be measured separately is that clear theoretically it can be understand it is dielectric loss it is a conduction loss but practically by experimentally it cannot be determined separately it cannot be measured separately it can measure but it is not so easy so we use more convenient method more convenient method that means we are use a combined method that is total radiation efficiency your conduction and your dielectric conduction means antenna rods is that clear yes that means losses in that particular antenna rods and losses into the free space that means in dielectric medium your free space is always dielectric medium is that clear yes now combination of that two losses the rod madhe kiti energy waste jhali ani free space madhe kiti geli ha doni cha milun kay calculate kela apan antenna radiation efficiency that means product ya dogancha manje kay tela total manle kay matle antenna radiation efficiency and now total radiation efficiency or total radiation efficiency is the product of conduction efficiency and dielectric efficiency is that clear yes sir and total antenna efficiency is the product of again antenna radiation efficiency and antenna reflection efficiency is that clear yes sir okay and yala gain mantat gain manje kay asto output ani input cha रेशो असतो बरोबर आहे इज दॅट क्लिअर आणि हे गेन सारखंच एक प्रकार आहे गेनच आहे हा सुद्धा किती रेडिएट एनर्जी केली आणि किती लॉस झाली आणि इनपुट किती होती टोटल बरोबर आहे याच्यावर आता आपल्याला परत नेक्स्ट पॉइंट बघायचा आहे कुठला गेन नाव व्हेन वी मूव टू वॉट द गेन ऍट दॅट टाइम all of you must be know that what is the radiation intensity uh, what is the power which is accepted or reflected by the antenna it should be know that everyone then what is the losses what is the isotropic source he sagla mait pahije tumhala javes tumhi gain study karnar ahe there is a say, one derivative uh, for the gain and which can be uh, uh, discussed into the uh, सरज लेप झाले काय हॅलो ऐक की पाशा सरज लेप झाले काय झाले झाले हा बोल काय करतोय 